How's it going, YouTube? My name is Skullshirtical TCG, and at the time that I am making this video, and at the time that a few of you are watching it, maybe most of you, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are coming out on the Nintendo Switch in just one week. We're super close to the release of these next main series Pokemon games, and I've been seeing a lot of comments on the internet about whether people are excited for the games and whether people are going to play the games and whether people are even going to give them a chance in the first place. And I thought that I would make this video to um, show to all of you, to give you my opinions about Let's Go and why I think that you should give it a chance. Now let me go ahead and give you some context about myself. I'm a mega Pokemon fan. To say that I love Pokemon would be an understatement. I've been a fan of Pokemon since the day it came to the United States in 1998, and I've been a hardcore fan ever since. I've played all of the main series games at least once. I've beaten many of them several times. As of a few weeks ago, I completed my Pokédex in an actual cartridge copy of Pokémon Silver, and I'm working on the Pokédex in an actual cartridge copy of Pokémon Yellow, and hope to complete that before Let's Go comes out. My YouTube channel started in 2012 as a Pokemon trading card game booster pack unboxing channel, and it transitioned into just everything Pokemon, and I stuck with that as the main focus of my channel for several years, and even after I stopped it, I still love Pokemon. It's just there's not that much that I can really contribute that's unique that other YouTubers can't do better. So... Um, so if you're just a casual Pokemon fan, you're probably going to look at me and say, oh, he's going to tell you that you should only like it, you should only get it, because he's a big Pokemon fan and he'll like anything from Pokemon. To which I present to you this tweet that I tweeted out when I first heard of the rumor of a game called Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. As you can see, I was a bit apprehensive at the idea of these games existing, and um, it wasn't until after the uh, trailer came out, the next day after the leaks came out, that I realized it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was a little, I was a little hesitant to like the games. Um, I just thought the whole concept of Let's Go was really stupid, maybe for the same reasons that a lot of people out there, maybe even somebody who watched this video, are not going to get it because you don't think you'll like it, because you don't think it counts as a Pokemon game. Uh, Let's Go... Um, Let's Go takes place in Kanto. It's basically a remake of Pokemon Yellow version. So, it takes place in Kanto. There's only the first 151 Pokemon, plus Meltan and Melmetal, which are new to the games, new to the whole franchise. And a few different forms and Mega Evolutions, but that's it. There's only 151 Pokemon, plus a few others, and to a lot of people, that just seems so backwards. Why would you get rid of the vast majority of Pokemon species that exist nowadays? And there's other things that people don't like as well. They don't like the fact that the Pokemon no longer have abilities. They don't like the fact that, especially, wild Pokemon battles are no longer a thing. The wild Pokemon mechanics work just like they work in Pokemon Go. And these are all good uh, these are all good points about why you should, you know, be a little hesitant about liking Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, when I first heard of it, I thought, it sounds like a spin-off. In fact, up until I played it myself a few weeks ago, I considered it a spin-off, even though the game directors and Nintendo, and basically everyone who has worked on the game, or played the game themselves, everyone has said it is definitively a main series game. I didn't think that. I was just convinced that nothing could convince me otherwise, that it was always going to be a side series game. I would get it and I would play it, but I would not consider it part of the same series that gave us Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon Gold and Silver, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Pokemon X and Y, all that stuff. I could not, in my wildest dreams, lump in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee into the exact same list. 
and then I played it. This is footage of me playing the game at the Let's Go Tour event, which takes place across the United States. It's still going up until next week when the game launches. And just playing it for a few minutes during the demo time that I was allowed completely changed my mind. I was able to play the games, well, the, the playable demo that they had there in Viridian Forest, and even though the wild Pokemon capture mechanic is basically a simplified way of playing Pokemon Go, the actual mobile game, the rest of the game is Pokemon. So for those of you who are only Pokemon fans because of Pokemon Go, and you're watching this video wondering if this would be a good way for you to get into the main series, that's exactly what these games are for. They are made with you in mind to be able to transition from Pokemon Go to Let's Go into eventually next year, Generation 8, which will go back to the old tried and true formula that people are used to. So, what about everyone else? What about Pokemon junkies like me who have been in the series for as long as it's been out in English? Well, I know that there's a lot of people who will not play the games and nothing I say will ever convince them to play the games and you've already disliked this video and left, to which I say, you're missing out. I've heard all sorts of, uh, of complaints about Let's Go. Um, the biggest one is that abilities are gone and that there's not that many Pokemon around. Those are fair points, like I said earlier. But you got to understand, these are remakes of Pokemon Yellow. Okay, that means that it, there's only supposed to be 151 Pokemon. Abilities didn't exist yet. And even if all that did exist, that would be really hard for... Pokemon Go players to make the transition into the main series. This is a good stepping stone, not just for Pokemon Go players, but for veteran Pokemon players making the transition from handheld to Switch, and it's also a step for the developers making the transition to high-definition graphics. Uh, there's, it's, it's a stepping stone. That's all it is. And if you think that, if you think that you're not going to enjoy this because it's a stepping stone, because it just leaves out too many things that you're used to, you, you're you missing out. I don't know how else to say it. I grew up in a time when what Let's Go is offering was all that there was. There was only 151 Pokemon. There was only, you know, there were no abilities. There was a very broken competitive mechanic because Psychic was overpowered, but whatever. This is a simplified Pokemon game that we haven't had in years because each game has added complexity upon complexity. I mean, how many of you right now can really name every single Z-move that was introduced in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? There's too many. Even I, right now, I, like, I, I played every single Pokemon game so hard, and it's really hard for me to think of all the moves. It's hard for me to remember a few of the Gen 7 Pokemon. It's just... Pokemon's gotten so big, they really needed to take a step back and simplify things with Let's Go, in my opinion. And Let's Go does it perfectly. And, like I said, if, if you're going to skip out just because of that, then you're missing out. I, I've, I've seen people hate on Let's Go because of the wild Pokemon mechanic. Um, and yeah, that's fair, that's something that, if you have never played Pokemon Go, you just got to get used to it. Um, but if you have played Pokemon Go, even for just a few minutes, then you instantly know how it works. You see a wild Pokemon, you feed a berry if you want, then you just flick the Joy-Con or the Pokeball Plus, you flick the controller, and you catch the Pokemon, just like that. There's probably footage right here, right now, of how that works. So if you're at all used to Pokemon Go, that works great. But the big thing that was the selling point for me for Let's Go was not... All the content that the game has definitely shown us over the past few months, even this week we got a new trailer with all sorts of exciting stuff that I'm really looking forward to. What got me most excited for Let's Go was the first trailer. Again, you gotta remember, the day before was the first time I even heard of this, and I'll show the tweet once again. That was my first opinion of it, was that it was trash and that anyone who even thought it was real was stupid. Fast forward to the next day, the first trailer comes out, this shot right here of Evie touching hands with the girl trainer. 
I'm just going to compare that with Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know, of course it's pixelated, but it's low definition, what can you expect? But the difference of expression between player characters, between Sun and Moon and Let's Go, night and day. And that, for me, makes Let's Go more of a Pokemon game than Sun and Moon. I just... I didn't like Sun and Moon that much because it just changed the formula too much. It got rid of gyms, it got rid of HMs, even though I've heard plenty of other people say that they love Sun and Moon because of those changes. For me, I don't know what it is, but I love Let's Go because of those changes. In much the same way, everyone else loves Sun and Moon, and I don't. But Let's Go just makes the Pokemon world feel so much more alive. Between playing it myself and seeing all of the trailers and being able to just watch other people play the game, I know that this world, this Pokemon world, is coming to life in Let's Go for the first time in an evolution process that I haven't seen since Pokemon first made the transition to 3D in 2013. The leap to high definition graphics, the expressions on all the characters' faces, the world-building, the fluidity of it all, the beauty of these games, that is the selling point to me. They're so beautiful, and I can't wait to play them, and I can't wait to play through them, and I really wish that you guys would just give that a chance. Whether you pick Pikachu or Eevee, Let's Go is for you. If you have a Switch, You'll, you'll be missing out if you don't get it. And for those of you who are wondering if you should get a Switch just to play these games, I would say yes. If you're a big Pokemon fan, then absolutely. This is the game for you, and that's what I have to say about that. And before anyone asks which team I'm on, I'm getting both. I can't pick. They're both adorable. Look at them. Let me know which one you're getting, and I hope that my video provided some insight and some perspective, and if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for hearing me ramble. Here are my patrons for this month. Hi everyone, this is Skull. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I also want to give a huge thanks to my Patreon pledgers for this month, whose names you can see on screen, along with some other videos of mine I think you might enjoy watching. That does it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.